Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another episode of the Fat Show. So a little bit of uh, change in plans today. Uh, I was planning on working on the mechanical maintenance to my E39 M5, uh, but as it turns out, the E39 M5 is too long for my quick jacks, uh, so I wasn't really comfortable uh, lifting from the pinch welds. So I bought an extension kit, so I need to wait for that to come in before I can do any mechanical maintenance uh, on the car that requires getting underneath it anyways. So I figured I would start to uh, work on the interior and hopefully changing it from the disgusting uh, mess that it is to something a little bit better. Uh, so with that, uh, for some reason, I don't know why these detail videos always do pretty well as far as views go because I feel like they're pretty boring, but hopefully it'll be a pretty good transformation because it is absolutely disgusting right now. Uh, I think if you watch my first E39, M5 video, you, you know that I bought this car from someone that uh, wasn't planning on selling it the day I bought it and it was um, his daily driver so he like took his kid to school in it so there's like Cheerios and stuff in the back seat. So a lot of work to do and uh, I bet it'll look pretty good when it's done. So with that, let's get to it. I guess first things first, I'm gonna go around and just pick all the trash out of the car. So, seats, Tootsie Pops, Fig Newton, uh, Sam Pellegrino, I guess the person had ta good, good taste. Your seats. That's a uh, Interesting one. I guess it's like a kid's uh, insole. And yeah, don't know what that is. Uh, we got a goldfish. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll uh, save that. And I always like to put my car on the battery tender when I'm detailing it, just because you have the interior doors open so the lights stay on for a while and uh, you're running the seats back and forth. Not sure it's really necessary, but I always do it. So once I had all the trash taken out of the car, the next step in my self-made process was just to go ahead and vacuum out everything that I could. And I'm not even gonna bother cleaning the floor mats because I went on to ECS tuning and I actually bought a set of uh, brand new like cloth M5 floor mats because I noticed that there wasn't any floor mats at all on the back. So that would give me a complete set of M5 ones and I don't really need all weather floor mats for this. So to clean the carpets on the M5, I actually used this like Bissell Crossway floor cleaner that my parents actually got me. Uh, for Christmas just for obviously the house, but it seemed to work pretty good. Obviously it's a little difficult to maneuver in the small areas, but that's the water it cleaned up from the carpet, so that's pretty nasty. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely helped a lot. <coughs> um, I think I'm still gonna have to use the steam cleaner to get some of the areas that I wasn't able to get this into. Uh, Once the carpets are clean, I like to go ahead and just give the whole car a Febreze bomb, as I call it, just to neutralize any odors. And then while you have all the doors open detailing, it, it'll dry out. When I'm doing a thorough detail, I like to go ahead and just blast every surface in the car with my steam cleaner and then wipe it off with the microfiber. Some people say that the steam like exfoliates the pores and the plastic and the leather and lets you get more dirt out of it. I'm not really sure if that's true, but it does actually take up some, some dirt and uh, give you a good starting point before you move on to the interior cleaner, which is what I'm currently using now. Uh, I just basically repeat and wipe down everything that I've already steamed with the interior cleaner. And once I'm done with the interior cleaner, uh, my surface protectants I like to use, I use Airspace 303 for all the hard plastic. Uh, it leaves it like shiny, but not like over the top like uh, Armor All does. And then for leather seats, I'll use uh, a leather balm. I uh, just apply it with the applicator and then leave it on for like half an hour and come back and uh, wipe it off. And again, just like I said about the Aerospace 303, this kind of leaves a less glossy look than uh, Armor All. And uh, I think it lasts a lot longer, in my opinion, too. Now 
Not sure what you think of the results. Comment down below, but I'm pretty happy with it. The blacks are just a lot more dark and they have a little bit of a gloss, but not too much. And just all the, the gray seems to pop a little bit more. And yeah, obviously there's no goldfish and fig newtons lying around. So overall, uh, pretty happy with the results. So that's a wrap on this episode. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, cleaned up all the crumbs and all the mess that was in there. Uh, but then also just that, that black part of the leather just looks so like shiny and dark now. And even the kind of hard textured plastic with that Aerospace 303 on there, it also darkened that up a little bit. So pretty happy with it. It looks phenomenal. It's actually kind of impressive the uh, condition of this car for 22 years old. Uh, but anyways, a uh, short episode today. Um, hopefully I can get those quick jack extensions in soon and I can start doing some mechanical work on the car. All right, thank you for watching guys, bye.